Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can create this beautiful looking 3D text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start the video. First I'll remove everything from the artboard and I'll go to the layers and select our background layer. We need a background first. Select the rectangle tool, click on the artboard. We need a 1200 pixel by 900 pixel rectangle. Click OK. Let's center this to the artboard. Go to the gradient panel select the radial gradient double click on black and change the color to this and double click on white change the color to this one let's adjust the gradient a little bit now select the pen tool and draw a line like this apply a 65 point stroke remove the fill color click on stroke and change the profile to this pointy one now go to effect distort and transform transform and click right middle center and choose angle 10 and now let's increase the copies it's good now click ok Go to object, click on expand appearance. Let's center this to the artboard and let's increase the size a little bit. Change the color. Let's go to gradient panel and select the radial gradient. Double click on this point. We need white on both sides. Double click on this point and change the color to white. Now select this right side point and change the opacity to zero here we go and select all these shapes and go to op click on opacity and change the blend mode to soft light now we need to power clip all these shapes into the background for that i'll select our background and copy it by pressing ctrl c and then paste it by pressing ctrl v let's center this to the artboard select all the shapes and by pressing shift select the rectangle and right click on it and make a clipping mask here we go here's our background let's lock this layer for now and select our text effect layer let's start creating our text effect type our text let's increase the size 360 point the font I'm using for this text effect today is analog script. Center this to the artboard. Okay, click on none to remove the fill color. Then go to appearance panel and click on add new field. Now go to the gradient panel. Select the default white and black gradient. Double click on black and change the color to this. Double click on white and change the color to this now again go to the appearance panel and duplicate this layer now select the first layer again go to the gradient panel and click on the right in the middle and now select this right side point and change the opacity to zero and now select the left side point and change the opacity to zero now change the angle to 90. go to the appearance panel and select the second layer and change the color to this one click ok select the first layer go to effect stylize and any glow and change the color to this one click ok remember these settings opacity 50 percent and blur 8 pixels click ok now select the second layer and duplicate this change the color to this click ok now go to effect path and offset path apply a 4 pixel offset path change the joints to round and click ok now duplicate this layer select this second layer go to effect distort and transform and transform and in move values apply these values now click ok for this layer 
I'll go to the toolbar and select our eyedropper tool and click on this gradient. I'll provide the link of all these swatches in the description so you can download all these swatches. Now select this layer and duplicate this and change the color to this click ok go to effect distort and transform and transform and now apply these values click ok select this layer drag this to the bottom and duplicate it let's hide this layer for now and select this layer and change the color to this one click ok and open the property panel and change the offset path to 25 pixel now click ok close this and duplicate this layer select the bottom one and go to effect distort and transform and transform apply new effect and apply these values now click ok for this second layer i'll again go to the toolbar and select our eyedropper tool and apply this color now select this layer and duplicate this select the second layer and change the color to now click ok let's zoom it a little bit go to open to the property panel click on the transform and change the move values like this and click ok now unhide this layer open the property panel click on transform and apply these values now click ok select this layer go to effect blur and gaussian blur apply a 13 pixel Gaussian blur click ok and change the opacity to multiply close this panel now do select this layer and duplicate it and change the color to black open the property panel click on transform and change the move values click ok now select this layer and drag this to the bottom select this layer go to effect blur and gaussian blur and apply a 35 pixel gaussian blur click ok so here we go here is our final text effect look i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching.